why did DJ Envy call Kanye West a clown? And why does Trick Daddy like his salad tossed? Ugh. And it looks like Kourtney Kardashian exes are battling on social media. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So we have a mashup of hot topics to talk about, but let's talk about Trick Daddy. As you know, Trick Daddy, the last time he was in the news, he was talking about Beyonce and saying that she couldn't sing. And some of you agreed with him. But now he's back in the news for something a little bit more. I didn't need this story, but I'm going to report on it because I need more heterosexual men to admit that they like their salad toss. If you don't know what that means, Google it, okay? So in a new podcast interview, Trick Daddy talked openly about liking his salad toss. And the other guys were like, what? What? What do you mean? You never had, you don't have your legs up in the air, do you? And he said, sometimes. And there's nothing wrong, guys, if you have your legs up in the air. If you don't know and you've been following The Breakfast Club, then you already know that Charlemagne the God has openly talked about having that done to him. And it says that many women are open to it. And I know a lot of women follow my channel, so I want you to let me know in the, the comments, is this something, first of all, that you want to talk about <laughs> and admit to, but... I want to know. Let's have an open dialogue. I love having open dialogues with you. But <laughs> according to Trick Daddy, he's he's actually shocked. He's shocked that that people are surprised. I'm a little surprised, but I'm just like looking at Trick Daddy and I'm like, I can't imagine what that looks like. Anyways, moving on. Since we were talking about Charlemagne the God, let's talk about The Breakfast Club. DJ Envy, you know, a lot of people were reporting yesterday him calling Kanye and everyone around Kanye a clown. And I honestly was like, why? I mean, uh, for beyond obvious reasons, but I just thought it was interesting timing. As you know, Kanye West has a new album out, Donda. And there are a lot of celebrities that were either supposed to be on it or just calling him out. Chris Brown called him a hoe in the Instagram stories. I'm like, what? Was Chris Brown supposed to be on the album? There were a lot of mix up about this album, when it was supposed to come out. He was doing all these different events. And despite all the other problematic behavior Kanye West has done in recent, within a, the last year, people are still looking forward to the music, still looking forward to supporting him. Anyways. DJ Envy called him a clown and, and said everyone that was around him, including, you know, Pusha T and a bunch of other people were clown. Well, he addressed that today on The Breakfast Club, saying that he spoke to some of the people that are around Kanye and they reminded DJ Envy that Kanye has a mental health issue going on and he is, quote, uncontrollable. And at the end of the day, many people thought that was part of the reason why Kim Kardashian decided that it was time for her to divorce Kanye. We've heard rumors that they're trying to work things out. Not sure how true that is. But we do know that Kanye does have a mental health situation. I believe it's bipolar. He opened up and talked about this, I believe, in a conversation with Charlemagne the God. And other times, he also has revealed that he doesn't want to take his medication. And I, I get it on one hand because as a creative, he might feel that affects his creativity. I'm not sure. But I just don't want this to go into a bad place. A bad place. And so DJ Envy re revealed that, you know, after having the conversations with, with people around Kanye, they're saying he's uncontrollable. They know that there are things going on. They're trying to find other ways on how to help the situation. I mean, unless you are a licensed doctor, I don't know what you guys can do besides be supportive and be there as much as you can and get him the help that you can. I won't be listening to Donda. I hear it's like 27 songs, and that's not the reason why I'm not listening. I'm not listening because you know. <laughs> Moving on to a light and fun story. You know, we don't talk a lot about the Kardashians. Every once in a while, you know, when Chloe's in the news getting back with Tristan and Kim Kardashian getting back with Kanye. Well, now we hear 
that Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker, as you know, they've been lovey-dovey all over social media. And honestly, I'm, I don't care. The same way Kim said that no one cares about Kourtney on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, I honestly don't follow her story like that. I'm fully aware, but I don't care. With that being said, though, this story was funny to me. As you guys remember, she dated this young guy, this young model named Giannis. Well, Giannis posted on his Instagram story a DM that he received from Kourtney Kardashian's baby's father, Scott Disick, the father, you know, of her three kids. It's three, right? Um, the father of her three kids on social media. And this is what Scott said. Scott said, yo, is this chick okay? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Bro, like, what is this? In the middle of Italy? And then, of course, he responded to Scott and said this. Doesn't matter to me as long as she's happy. P.S. I ain't your bro. And in the Instagram story, he he captioned this by saying, keep the same energy you had about me publicly, privately. So Giannis is not here for the play play when it comes to Scott Disick. Scott Disick. I don't understand, Scott, why you would even text or DM Giannis. You thought you were going to have a moment in agreement about your baby's mother? It's so weird to me. It's weird. It just says to me that you and Courtney aren't in the best place. And maybe you're jealous. Maybe that relationship with Amelia really is just for TV and trying to launch her career. But it didn't stop there. <laughs> it didn't stop there. Giannis then posted this in his Instagram story. He says, couldn't miss this one. He'd been playing around for too long. Tire, tired to stay quiet and be the nice guy. Back to work, 10 kilometers. There we go. Giannis, we appreciate you because you know what? It wasn't a slow, slow news, news day, but this was a funny light story, and I had to share it with you guys. I want to know your thoughts on some of these hot topics in the, in the comment section. As always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.